hello guys welcome to another exciting and entertaining video here on a foam tv my name is a foam hime it's a beautiful sunny day and we can only enjoy and give praise and thanks today we are going to look at how to tag goats when we talk about tagging goats it's a form of identity that you give to your goats the importance of tagging goats is that one it helps for easy identification so let's say for instance if you are in an area where other people also have goats and then you all um, operate the open grazing system it means that you need to have a form of identification for your goats and if your goats are many you realize that you cannot just by sight identify all of them and so if you look at in the past we used to do branding so people will put iron in fire and then use it to brand their goats or some people used to cut the ears of the goat in a, in a way or form so as to brand or to identify the goats but we are in a modern era so you need to tag your goats using modern methods so for easy identification another very important um reason why you tag goats is to be able to keep accurate records on each of the um, goats that you keep because if the goats are not tagged you can't really keep a proper record on each one of them when they when they give birth when they are sick which kind of treatment you give them and then the forms of um, whatever you do to each goat in particular you can't keep proper records if they are not tagged so we tag the goat so that if they are it's a form of numbering so you can easily identify them elsewhere or in more advanced settings even the tag that they use to tag the goat have rfid systems in them so that they are able to input data about the particular goat on that chip so that immediately it is scanned you can easily assess every information that you have on that particular goat but here, our uh, tags are just the normal tags that we are going to use. Um, but it is also good as a form of identification and to be able to keep proper records and keep track of whatever happens or what is happening to each of your goods at every particular time. Now, the tool that we are going to use is called the tag applicator. Now, this is the tag applicator. And um, you can get this in the stores. It's form of like plier like uh, now what it does is that you put the tags in here so this is how you apply the tag so you have the tag which is numbered and so it helps you to keep track of the particular goods it is tagged to and then you have a locker so you use the tag and the locker to tag your goods now you put the locker here where the pin is and then the tag in between this pin and the head of the tag applicator so you put it here like this and then you check whether the pin will exactly go into the tag so once that is done then you are ready to tag your boat also if you realize you have made a mistake and you want to remove the tag this is also the tool that you use to remove the tag it's called tag remover so you are you point these sharp ends to where the locker is and you just clip it like that it will easily remove the locker without hurting your boots so you need these two tools the tag applicator and then the tag remover but in tagging the ear of the goat, there are some things that you must note. You don't just tag anywhere at all. So I'm going to show you how you tag the goat. When you lift the ear of the goat like this, you see that there are some major veins that runs through the ears of the goat. So you have one here, and then you have another one here, and then you have another one here. Where you are going to tag is in between these two veins. Please note. In between these two veins so you tag right in between these two veins 
don't tag too close to the tip of the ear because it might come off or it might tear off if the goat engages in any rough um, in activity so you tag somewhere here just like the middle here so that it can hold um, tightly for uh, long so this is how you gauge it you gauge it in the middle and then you clip it as fast as you can so you see just like that your goat is tagged and you see it is not bleeding it, it will not bleed it means that you did a good job so that is how you tag your goat we'll bring another one in tagging the goat you can decide to use different colors of tags for let's say the different breeds of goats that you have or whether male or female you can use different tags for the male and different tags for the female for easy identification so that is how you tag your goats